Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to do a small group this morning, and we're going to do it with forks, spoons, and knives. So, parents, collect four of each of those things. So you have four forks, four spoons, and four knives, okay? And then you put them on the table, and I'm going to turn the camera around, and I'll talk to you about what I'd like you to do. Okay, so we have the forks, the spoons, and the knives on the table. And if they're jumbled all together, that makes it even better. And what kids can do first is you can first ask them to separate those into groups. So that would mean putting the spoons with the spoon, the forks with the forks, and the knives with the knives. So you'll have three groups. One, two, three. Okay? And then have the children make you a pattern okay we could you can show them and start with a spoon and a fork and then a spoon and you can ask them what will come next and you can help them work with them and they could say a fork and then what comes next a spoon and then a fork and then a spoon so it ends up looking like this, okay? So we could try it again. If they are able to do that, you could do a pattern with forks and knives. These are just butter knives, so they're very dull. They can't hurt anybody. And you're gonna be there with your child so you can supervise them. So you could then say, well, let's make a three-part pattern. We could make a spoon a fork, and then a knife. Some kids will get it right off the bat. Others, you're gonna just have to walk it through with them. So let me know if they're able to do and complete your pattern, however you do it. If it's fork, spoon, or spoon, knife, or however you wanna do it. Let me know if they're able to do the first part. If they can, move on to a second part, which is making a three-part pattern. This is three parts, one, two, three. So you'll continue, and it's spoon, fork, knife. What would come next? A spoon, a fork, and a knife. And then continue on with the pattern. If the kids are able to do it, that's fantastic. Let me know. You can even take a picture of them with it. Um, let me know if you were, if you had to help them or if they were able to complete it with no assistance at all. So this is a fun activity. It's a very short activity, but doing making patterns is actually a very excellent skill and it starts with very simple things with the fork and the spoon that's fine if they can't do fork spoon knife don't worry about it it'll come but just practice doing two part right now and when they've mastered it we'll introduce it again with a third part so let me know how your children do and kids have fun making patterns i'll talk to you later bye